happy Friday, everybody. Happy Friday. So I decided to come on and make a video, as you can see by the title, of how basically how my spiritual journey started. And I'm going to I have no choice but to keep the video kind of short because Instagram I can't upload like longer videos. Um because I made videos that were longer and it didn't upload you. So um I'm gonna if I seem like I'm talking fast, I do apologize. Um, I'll come back and, you know, give a more detailed video. But this is pretty much how it started for me. <laughs> oh, yeah. This is just pretty much how my journey started. Um, so I would say, I want to say 2017 um, is when I was in a relationship. I was married or whatever. And um, there were things that were, I guess now in hindsight, they were downloads. Um, you know, like I always say, spiritual downloads, information that comes through um, about the guidance. And a lot of times, like I always say, the, gu the guidance is silent, right? And you know how you, I don't know if you guys ever, well, I'm pretty sure some of you guys have experienced this being with somebody and you you just not fulfilled you know so that's where it started a lot of times people begin their spiritual journeys and the catalyst is karmic relationships or some type of relationship you know a lot of times it has to be romantic right so in 2017 something very pivotal happened um towards the end of the year and you know i always used to tell people like oh i started my journey in 2018 but really it was 2017 were you guys it could have been some stuff prior to that but you know how you're just not aware um like you know so um there was a lot of things and then also m coupled in with that i was really questioning why i was here on earth like why did the creator why did god you know that's you know why did god put me here on earth why what is what is my purpose because i've never had a job that i was completely satisfied or happy with i just was going through the motions or whatever I, i've i've had you know all kind of situations in my life and i never was satisfied there never was that innate joy that resided within me and i was asking the wrong people it's so interesting because the people who i was going to was one specific person who i was going to where i was just constantly saying this to them they're not even in my life something you know transpired so they're not even in my life anymore somebody that had to leave but i just kept expressing this desire to know why i was here right and back to 2017 when um you know realizing that my relationship had to <laughs> it was it was like an energetic push or if you will if that makes sense for me to move on and what happens oftentimes on this journey or whatever in life in general when you know you need to leave a person or a situation or a relationship alone to find yourself to rebuild yourself to heal yourself to whatever you end up sometimes going back to the situation because you're, you need to learn there are some lessons that you need to learn or whatever and damn sure did i learn a lot of stuff okay did i learn a lot of stuff about relationships did i learn a lot of stuff about myself period um i learned a lot but there was this energetic like you know and sometimes when the universe is putting situations in your life so you can get away with them so you can move on with your life so you can heal whatever you need to do and you go back you're going to learn the same lesson over and over and over again if you keep going back to a situation that isn't for you so and it, and it, and it, and it may hurt shit it just in the midst of that it may hurt um and so a couple of months after i realized this and it was like a breakdown between me and this person some things happened like like some things were like i found out some shit so i found out more stuff you know and so okay this really has to be over that's the energy like okay this this relationship this situation whatever this really has to be over and even with that information that I found out I was life changing, I still wanted to re remain friends because 
I was raised in a very specific way that if you have children with people, a person or whatever, that you have to be with them. That's just how I was raised. You was raised the way you was raised. This is how I was raised. Can't tell me how I was raised because I was raised by these people. Okay. And I'm not, and this is not knocking my parents or saying anything negative, but that's just how I was raised. And it was, a, a, if you will, a generational curse because it was passed on. So with that being said, there was still some ties and connections. Okay. So a lot of things in that time were being revealed. Like I said, I just wasn't revealed, wasn't aware rather. So in 2018, several months later, um, the like before summer hit, because it was springtime. Yeah, spring, like where we at now, basically. Um, okay, let me just go back a little bit. See, that's why I'm saying I'm gonna have to do this video in parts. Okay. I was dating people in 2017, even though I was still legally married, because my thing was, if you're talking to people, I'm not going to sit here and commit myself or keep myself committed to you, because I'm an extremely loyal person, and it's like a gift and a curse at the same time. Um, I, you know, began dating people, talking to people, whatever, and nothing with a goal in mind just to do it, you know? Hey, you doing it? I'm going to do it, you know? And so I learned some things about certain people on my journey. Though these people were in my path for a reason. Now, fast forward to 2018, I met somebody. And um, this person was slightly high strung, okay? But kept it composed, if that makes sense. And um, <laughs> like jumping the gun, like, you know? And come to find out he had an ulterior motive okay but prior to me realizing and figuring out his ulterior motive um i for some reason he was a virgo okay he was a virgo and so i had never I, with the exception of my ex never really looked into astrology deep i was always into it but never like it led me somewhere this time. Like that individual was coupled in with my karmic, you know, with my ex was the catalyst to me getting on this journey because as I'm trying to figure out this Virgo individual and, you know, find out all his placements and things like that, I was led to a reader who, that was the first time I had watched a tarot reader. It was two of them. It was Eat, Read, Love, I believe. And then it was my favorite, absolute favorite reader of all time, House of Oshun. Those situation, that situation led me to that, right? And th the reason why I love House of Oshun is because I don't, this is just me. Being a reader is more than just telling you what's going on. It's telling you what you need to know because the tarot will tell you what you need to know. It will go more in depth depending on what your energy is. But I like Oracle more because it goes more deeper. You know what I'm saying? It gives you the the, 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 the cusp, the nucleus of everything that you need to know. And this is how this reader breaks down everything. And her personality is just bomb. So that's how I got introduced to that. And so there, then it was, it was like, I was subscribed to so many tarot readers because of that, right? And so that's where everything started changing. I started getting into stones, um, black tourmaline, and uh, rose quartz were, were 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 my like. Where how much time am I at? I can't even see, Lord. Oh, Lord. But I'm gonna get off in a minute, y'all. But um, black, like I started buying my rose quartz. You know the self love. That was the main thing because I know I needed the self love because I had given myself. In the situation, my, my ex relationship so much and I didn't get my, I wasn't fulfilled, you know. And then staying with somebody who, you know, just didn't treat you right, you know, obviously you lack self-love. So all of that is, so I started getting into stones. I started really heavily getting into um, meditation. I mean, really like going Medit you just really going gung-ho with meditation. I started um, 
you know, affirmations, speaking life. Um, uh, what is it called? I can't even think. Not just journaling, but writing down my manifestations, the things I wanted. You know, getting into water manifestation, getting more into incense. I always, you know, I love incense, obviously. Um, getting into sage. Sage was my first thing more in Palo Santo. I love Palo Santo, but I would start purchasing sage. Everything just started moving at a, at a, at a rate. I also um, got certified the first level of Reiki because I really was into Reiki and because I'm a healer. So anything that has to do with healing, I was, I was, you know, one to try it. So I was into Reiki. So I took a, a Reiki course and um, I finished it. This was back in 2018. And then I, at that particular time also, I had some family members that were living with me and I was over it, over it. Cause I, was, I had my children and everything. I was just over it. And because these people were, were one specific family member, I just, we just didn't vibe. Let's just say that we just didn't mesh. I'm a very specific person, and if you're not in my energy wave, we don't, you know, I'm, I'm, I, it's the Taurus in me. I really do feel like it's the Taurus in me, and the Leo, too. Um, but yeah, this is, this is just part one of how my spiritual journey started. Like, me going through a spiritual awakening, and it was some heavy shit that happened to me energetically and I, I also mentioned in another video before that when I used to see 555 five, five all the time 555 five, 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 whatever and it used to scare me because I'm like uh oh what is the universe got for me now as far as the change is coming but I'm gonna talk about that I'm gonna leave it here and I'm gonna move on to part two I will come and talk to you guys about that for anybody who's interested because I'm pretty sure this is going to help some of you guys I love you guys so very much peace take care